Every year, Lake Superior State University comes out with its banished words list. In 2019, the university published 18 words that we all need to stop saying. But why do we need to stop saying these words? Well, it's because they're stupid or annoying or overused to the point where they've lost all punch or meaning. Welcome to I Love Content. I'm your host, Laura Burgels, and with me are Scott Smith and Elizabeth Godey. I'm going to start with the number one word on the banished word list, and that word is wheelhouse. I've been against using the word wheelhouse in business for quite a few years now. It's a sailing term, and most people I work with who use the term wheelhouse, they aren't sailors. They don't even know what a wheelhouse is or what it looks like, but Elizabeth Godey, she is a sailor and she is a business person. Elizabeth, what's a wheelhouse? I mean, by its truest nature, it's actually a nautical term for the actual wheelhouse where navigation is done. And so it has been extrapolated over time in meeting sort of areas of expertise and has even been adopted in baseball when talking about batters. For me, um, you know, I feel authentic that I can use the word wheelhouse, but I can certainly see how people who don't even know what it is, you know, that, that could be um, upsetting. Okay, that's it for wheelhouse. Let's move on to banished word number two, which is in the books. Think of in the books as uh, being useless because nothing is ever finished anymore. Things used to be finished when they went to print um, or they got mailed or whatever. And I mean, that is still done to some extent, but um, there's no project that I can see that's ever in the books. A year is never in the books because we keep talking about the previous fiscal year or the previous election or the previous sports season, et cetera. Uh, I think that one's useless because it's not true ever, I don't think. It's true. We don't even use books anymore, do we? It's all <laughs> computerized. Mm -hmm. Word number three. Platform. <laughs> yeah, this one gets used a lot, doesn't it? Well, I think of, uh, you have the, you know, the platform in the sense that this is my speaking platform, and that used to be a soapbox or, you know, a stage or a lecture and what have you, um, and, you know, that became, you know, we, um, you know, software platforms like, you know, Twitter, you know, more recently social media, so Twitter's a platform. I actually kind of like, uh, on the radio, I heard about, um, rating system for uh, like Uber drivers and uh, actually described Uber as a platform. And I guess theoretically it is, but they were talking about more about the ratings um, format of it. And I said, yeah, I, I guess that's a platform. I think of that as a feature in the, you know, the Uber sphere, uh, <laughs> their business operations. But yeah, I just think I, that is something that I think is completely overused. Wrap my head around. You wrap your head around anything, right? I can't wrap my head around it. You know, what's unfortunate is almost every word on this list I use. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out how my vocabulary is going to change when we eliminate all these words. All right. Um, so if you can't wrap your head around it, what would you say instead? Understand. I don't understand this. Let me have some time to reflect on, on this before I make a statement. Yeah, I was almost going to say, let me process it, but I think that we've got a problem with that, too. <laughs> yeah, wrap my head is, you know, something reserved for, I think, the elastic superheroes, like, you know, the guy in the Fantastic Four, et cetera. Our next word is collusion. Baseball term. How is it a baseball term? Well, actually, I first heard of that in the context of a uh, baseball player that came up as a free agent and... It found out later he wasn't signed because the owners were colluding not to sign him because they were trying to keep salaries at a lower level. Huh. Um, he ended up in the Baseball Hall of Fame, but he had a, took a pay cut that year. Okay, so if we weren't using the term collude or colluding, what word do we use instead? I think that's a pretty good term. I think it's kind of overused and by somebody on Twitter right now. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> <laughs> uh, but I think it's, it is becoming devalued that way. All right. Um, I think it's a pretty good term and, you know, the con if it's used in a proper context that people okay. are conspiring. So we need to wrap this one up. Do we say no collusion? <laughs> 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 or has that been overused too? <laughs> <laughs> I think that has. The Otis family of acronyms such as POTUS, FLOTUS. Skoda, when the first time I ever heard this term was on the West Wing, and that was way back in the 90s, and I'm like, what is Rob Lowe talking about? He's saying POTUS. 
and he had to actually explain what it means. I think that came off from the West Wing, and that's pretty dated. Maybe we need to actually call these people, oh, I don't know, President, First Lady. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, it always seems weird to me that we can't just, I mean, it almost feels like it's easier to say President than POTUS. It's so much less effort to actually explain what you're talking about rather than lead with an acronym and then having to explain it. And with POTUS, POTUS, SCOTUS, um, we can fit President, First Lady, and Supreme Court in Twitter now. 280 characters. We don't need to use this acronym, or not often anyway. Ghosting. I don't want to get rid of ghosting. I love ghosting. Here's what I want to get rid of is people doing it like what happened to having proper manners where you actually just tell someone you don't want to talk to them instead of just disappearing and I, it's actually giving a bad name to ghosts yeah That's you want to get rid of the habit more than the term correct the practice okay fair enough yeet yeet <laughs> well, here's my opinion i believe that people don't say yeet enough <laughs> Can I be honest? I don't think I've ever heard someone actually use the word eat. <laughs> so. I never have either, so I'm still uh, judging it. Um, I'm going to have to wait to see you know, like, uh, what uh, Fonzie thinks of it to see if it's cool or not. Um, but yeah, um, jury's out. <laughs> according to the Urban Dictionary, it's like a very versatile word. So I think that um, I don't know what the first instance of or the first usage was, but it seems like it can mean just about anything. You know, Litigate. Here's how I feel about litigate. It's fine if you're a lawyer, kind right. of like a, a wheelhouse is fine if you're a sailor, but other people using the word litigate, not so much. In business context, we're talking about basically discussion or arguing for back of lack of a better term, but I, I don't think it belongs in a business uh, sense, um, unless you're uh, suing one of your coworkers. Grapple, here's my take on grapple. Same deal as wheelhouse and litigate. If you're not a wrestler, don't say grapple. What do you say instead? What do you say instead of grapple? Litigate. <laughs> <laughs> eschew. I am one of the few people in the world that actually say eschew out loud for avoid. Uh, I will say I will eschew that. And people think that I'm kind of doing a weird little sneeze like eschew but I'm not, I'm saying as true, and I guess I need to stop saying that because eh, people don't understand it. The, I'm, I'm looking at the commentary on Inside um, uh, Higher Ed page and uh, it says, one of the reader comments that nominated this was nobody ever actually says this word out loud, they just write it for filler, but you say it out loud. I do, I'm one of the few freaks that do. I will stop doing it. I promise it's a banned word. I will stop saying it. <laughs> well, and there's an alternate pronunciation to askew, in which sounds too much like askew, you know, like with an right. A. It's a completely different word, and I, I don't have my stamp of approval on that. The next word on the list is crusty. Yes. I had to look up how it was being used now, and it's not like it's not the crusty that I have grown to know and love and I have become. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just like it's a very derogatory term now. It used to be like, you know, kind of like, you know, a crusty old man like I am is that, you know, kind of um, uh, obstinate, I guess, and kind of like you know, salty language. Except salty has different definitions too. But now, yeah, I, I had a colleague back in the day who always said raspy, and I loved it. This was like back in the 1980s, mm -hmm. and she would say that client was really raspy to me. So I think we need to get rid of crusty and bring raspy back. I like that. Okay, we're agreed. Crusty yes. dead to us. <laughs> we're ghosting it. Yep but we're bringing back raspy. I like that. Terrific. <laughs> Optics. Gone. Oh my God, it's the worst. So overused. I was sick of this one years ago and my Facebook pal, Tony Ramos once said something like, you know, never mind the uh, optics. What about the olfactories on that one? It doesn't smell right to me. Right. Optics, people use it like, how does that look? So why don't you just say, how does that look? We're concerned about how things look. I like olfactories better. I'm, I'm really concerned with how things smell. <laughs> but I think, smell like, right I think that people like have extrapolated the word optics to mean even more than that, right? It's like, what are people's impressions of you? It's not just how you look, right? It's like become this whole whole thing. And um, I feel like if they got back to just how they looked, the world could be different. Legally drunk. 
Uh, yeah, I, I think that um, everybody kind of agrees that what we're actually talking about is illegally drunk when you say legally drunk. I just got back from Ireland and they've gone to a zero tolerance policy where you cannot drink at all if you drive, which um, I think would also, you know, make it, uh, you know, legally drunk would basically be any, any form of drinking <laughs> at all. Thought leader. I thought when I first heard thought leader, perhaps 10 years ago, that this was a word that had a lot of promise. But guess what? I totally agree. It's been overused. Everybody's a thought leader now. Uh, and it, when everybody's a thought leader, nobody's a thought leader. And it, it, it's dead to me. And at this point, if you're using the word thought leader, it means that you're a thought laggard. So you really need to stop saying it. <laughs> That's the opposite of what it means. Importantly. Honestly, when the list came out, I, I couldn't believe that importantly was actually a word. It just seems like such a weird word. But more importantly, see, it's a hard word to say on top of everything else. So behind it being a weird word, it's hard to say, it's an adverb. I agree. Let's get rid of importantly. Hard to say. Next word on the list, also difficult to say, accoutrement. <laughs> When uh, people say it in kind of an anglicized uh, fashion, like uh, accoutrements, it sounds weird. When they say it properly the French way, like you said it, my first reaction is Adam's family. Morticia, you spoke French. Right. It's like if you say it with a French accent, as you're supposed to say it, you sound pretentious and goofy. If you say it with anything that's not French, you just sound really weird. So you might as well go full Fonzie and go accoutrement or something like that. So yeah, you know, most, the most important, important election of our time. It's like um, people's photos of their kitten on Instagram. It's the most important kitten of all time, right? And the election you're in or the one that you're voting in is the most important one of our, of our time or all time or what have you. I think that's very overused and it's like assuming you're telling people it's the most important election of our time, like everybody cares about the same issues and they take the same position on the issues as you. Oh, and let's face it, every election is the most important election. I was going to say, I mean, it's, it, 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 I don't know how you would differentiate, right? I mean, and also the more that it gets used, the less it becomes relevant. I mean, it's like, you know, you hear it so many times, it's irrelevant at that point. Right. Also, the election that's in front of you is the only one that you can deal with, so it's the most important ones at all times. Right. And that's all we have for today, the 18 banned words. Thanks for joining us, and bye bye What's on your list? 